The Bully Bear Trust was established 25 years ago in response to the pleas of parents who wanted conductive education for their children. We sought the help of politicians, church leaders and decision makers who needed all the help we could get. We formed a human triangle of hope in Dungannon, which was known as the Murder Triangle, to raise attention to the plight of these children. It's better that you listen to the words of the parents. And you have this vision in your mind when you get pregnant, you have your baby, that you take them out in their car seat. But I had to walk out of the hospital with no baby. I was there with her for four weeks. I wasn't told anything about was any damage done. To me, I had taken home a perfect, healthy baby girl. When Maeve was born, her brain was deprived of oxygen. And Maeve had to be brought back, which I was never told about. And basically when Maeve was born, she was technically brain dead. I didn't have hope for her in the past. I thought that that was it. Maeve was never going to walk. Maeve was never going to sit up. But it's the, it's the hope I have for Maeve now. You know, it's kind of like she has cerebral palsy. Deal with it. Whereas now coming here, I can see a future where Maeve can be independent, where she can be comfortable. Mm-hmm. with what's going on in life. all the way. You're quite nervous because you're sent home with this wee bundle that, you know, you don't know. He, he didn't cry, he didn't make any noise, so therefore we didn't know when he was in pain. He was actually the parent of the child that came here, got in contact with us and said, you know, don't worry, things is going to be okay. I have a boy, a little boy at this school. They will definitely see Jack mm-hmm. and I'll give you the number and you can organise to meet them. So even at that stage, after being told to expect nothing much from him, you know, and it was the not knowing, knowing that was the worst for us. You know, we just wanted someone to say, well, what way will Jack be? But nobody could tell us. They just said, we just, we don't know. So this person said, if you get the body where yeah. they'll so help I can remember, you see you. Yeah, I can remember coming home that night from the hospital and we phoned the number and we got sticking to you. And you told us that, don't worry, we are here to help you. And that we have hope for your boy. Coming to Buddy Bear has changed our lives, not just Katie's lives, our lives as a family, because we've now been given hope. And we can now relax as a family because we now know that Katie's getting everything that she needs to reach her full potential, whatever that may be. Um, In the early days, right up until we started Buddy Bear, Everything was very negative, it was what she couldn't do, what wouldn't happen. Things have just, there was never any real hope. But coming to Buddy Bear then, we um, discovered that there is hope. i have been told way back that I wasn't here, it was somewhere else, that she would never know she was peg fed, she would never be fit to feed, it wasn't safe. That was started here, and I thought, right, okay, this is not going to work with suction machines out and with everything else. I, I was a wee bit apprehensive that. You know, are we, is this really wise? But with the principal not there, they've done it before, they know what they're doing. She proved us all wrong, I suppose, from, she proved me wrong. I cried that day. I really did cry because that was giving her that hope, believing in her, and they believe in her here. It was an opportunity that she never would have got anywhere else because she'd been down as, she wrote off, nil by mouth, for months she'd been, that label had been put on her, that nobody was ever going to take that chance to try with her. And that had been made possible here, she's proved you know, that chance was the right right move to make with her because she's now having her baby jars and we're going for swallow studies and she enjoys it. She had a banana today, crushed banana today for her Lord, so that says it all. I don't expect miracles, but that's something she's able to do with a lot of help and a lot of time given. Why shouldn't she be given that chance? I feel really that if Ella hadn't gone to uh, to Buddy Bear, um, she wouldn't have the quality of life that she has now. She wouldn't be able to uh, move around. She wouldn't be able to interact uh, the way she does with her sister at the moment. Uh, we were told when she left the hospital to expect her never to be able to crawl, never to be able to roll over. Now Ella can do things like lift herself up onto her knees. She can pull herself up onto the sofa, and she can crawl really fast. You know, considerably more than we uh, we ever expected. Uh, Ella to do. Very good. When uh, her paediatrician sort of said they want to focus on her using both hands, getting good use of both hands, and they don't really mind if she's in a wheelchair for the rest of her life. It's more important that she uses her hands to them 
then she can walk. So the health service, they would just leave you more on your own with, right, this is what we can provide because of the, that's all the funding we sort of have. Shells were just down here, we're sort of like, no, we'll do whatever we can, as much as we can to help you. I thought Karen joys then coming down to see everyone because before that we hadn't really, we couldn't bring her to just a general nursery or play group or anything with her difficulties. I didn't want her just left sitting in a chair with the other kids running about, so down here was good for her to come down and meet other children. So. I coming down here and she's a lot, you know encourage her to do everything that she wants to do, you know, it's a lot, she's a lot happier. And... We have seen a great improvement because she comes here. Uh, the hospital said she would never talk, but believe it or not, since she come to Buddy Bear, she can actually now say Baba, Dada. The improvement has been immense, and she's actually taken one or two steps. And uh, you can see, you can, you don't even have to ask, really. You just look at the child, and you can see the eyes are full of brightness, and she knows she's standing, and she knows that she's got a goal to aim for herself. Whereas before we come here, you, you, you didn't have any of that. So that's why I'm really supporting the trust to get mainstream funding. I fundamentally believe that the, the small cost of funding the school just makes such a difference to the lives of those children. I'm very pleased with the work that Buddy Bear Trust are doing in my constituency to help children with cerebral palsy. I'm touched by the dedication and commitment of the professional staff and also the parents and the children who are getting such help and assistance and here it is, right on our doorstep in Dungannon. Well, the Ulster Teachers Union has always supported the Buddy Bear School and we feel that there's certainly a place for such education in Northern Ireland. I warmly congratulate uh, the members of the Trust uh, and, uh, and I, in my uh, role as a politician, have been active in trying to give assistance uh, to the Buddy Bear Trust. I think every party, almost without exception, would, would be prepared to support this venture as they did eight years ago. The work that Buddy Bear has done has, I know from those parents that I have met with and spoken to, has made an invaluable contribution to the well-being and to the holistic uh, individual as a child. And surely at the centre of all that we do in relation to education must be our children. And Buddy Bear is to be commended for their persistence, for their hard work, I hope that continues and that this contribution will be used to encourage others to support the work of Buddy Bear. I'm very proud of the work that Buddy Bear does and I think as a society we have to be proud as well. But pride isn't enough. Uh, government needs to back the Buddy Bear Trust, it needs to back the work that they're doing and I will commit uh, to doing whatever I can to make that happen. We hope care and share is our motto. We do care. Community cares. And we want to give help to these children. Politicians and parents all agree that this school is a success and that it should be funded directly by central government. Politicians agree with parents that early intervention is essential. The school must be funded by central government. The future of these children should not have to rely on public donations. We hope, we care and we're prepared to share. We need your help to secure the future of children, the most vulnerable children in Northern Ireland.